Good day folks, today I'm going to show you how to install an emulator in Android Studio. So if you'd like to download Android Studio, you can just go ahead and Google Android Studio download for and the Windows version that you're using and you will find yourself here. Now, once you're here, you're going to go ahead and you're going to navigate to the right hand side. Your interface may look slightly different, um, but what you're looking for is the little icon um, that has a phone and an Android on it. So it looks like that it's your device manager, right? So we're going to go in here and once you're in here, you can see that these are all our devices. We're going to now install a new emulator so we're going up to the top and there's a create virtual device button it's a plus icon again the interface may look slightly different so what you're going to do here basically um, is select your category so if you're looking for your phone tablet um, where OS desktop TV whatever it is you're going to select the category that you're creating this emulator for then you're going to go ahead and look for your device and um, I specifically was looking for a Samsung A12 so I went and I tapped on new hardware profile you can go ahead and now you can define your profile over here so that's everything from um, the device name you want to choose the device type you want to also select the screen size and if you're um, not familiar with the screen size as well as the resolution of your screen you can actually go ahead and just google your um, phone's specs so that's all you need to do or whatever device you're using you just google their specs and have a look for what the screen size is and then also the resolution the memory and then if it has any hardware buttons like if it has any physical buttons on it you can go ahead and uh, you can select e either one of these and then if it has a navigation style if it has a d-pad a track ball or a wheel you can go ahead and select that if it's a regular touchscreen phone you're going to just leave it as none and then if your device supports portrait as well as landscape you're going to choose that if it's got a front and back camera you're going to leave that on and then all of its sensors you're going to leave on what you have um, there are default skins we're going to leave it as no skin right now and you're going to just tap on finish i'm going to close this because i'm not going to create another one so you're going to go now and then select the one that you've just created i'm going to select this pixel 7 and we're going to go ahead now and um we're going to tap on next at the bottom right hand side of the screen now once you're in here you're going to have a look for um your operating system so Depending on what operating system you're currently using on your device, you're going to choose the operating system. You're going to have to download the operating system, right? So um, whatever it is that you're using, let's say, for example, the Tiramisu, you're going to hit the download button. It's going to take you to a new window and it's going to download it. Now, I'm not going to download this because their file sizes are rather large. The file sizes range from anywhere from 700, 800 meg up to 1.5 gig, sometimes even up to 2 gig. So I'm not going to download that because it's unnecessary for me to do so but once you've downloaded it you'll have a window that looks similar to this and you'll have the previous next cancel and finish button at the bottom you're going to go ahead and you're going to tap on finish and it'll now have downloaded it and it will now have actually um, imported the file that you've downloaded once you're done you're going to go ahead and tap on finish and this window will then be closed you will then have this section over here which is your device manager which is on the right hand side on my screen as i said previously it could be in a different place on your interface what you're going to go ahead and do on the right hand side you can see over here there is a play button now if you hold your cursor over there it says start it could say run as well it depends on what interface you're using and you're going to go ahead and you're going to tap on that and now it'll start it up you can now see that it is started up the emulator and you can now manage it all from here over here you can see all of your functions so you can power on power off you can increase volume you can drop volume over here um, you can also rotate your screen to the left you can rotate it to the right and then if you have a look on the bottom of your device you'll have these three icons they might look slightly different on your device but basically they do the same functions you're looking at a back button a home button and an overview which will basically open up 
all of the apps or show you all of the apps that are already open on your device. Here you can access um, your camera, you can take a screenshot and then you can uh, record your screen over here. If you go over to that little um, arrow on the side, there's a couple more options. You've got your hardware input. So if you have um, a keyboard that you've plugged in or a mouse to your device, you have your snapshots and so forth so and then the three dots if you hit that three dots then you have a couple more options now of course this um is not set up correctly because of this example i haven't actually downloaded the um the file for the emulator but if you do download the file for the emulator this over here will actually be the device that you're wanting to connect and you'll connect either via USB or you'll connect uh, via the Wi-Fi network. So you'll just have to make sure that your device that you're connecting with, as well as the device that you're using over here, your computer is on the same Wi-Fi network or alternatively that USB, that's a great connection too. If this video was helpful, drop us a like. We'll see you in another awesome video. Cheers.